from Belize to Tanzania to Burma and almost everywhere in between, Wings of Hope is saving one country one day at a time. The worldwide charity, twice nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize, operates 157 bases in 47 countries and has over 3,000 volunteers around the world. We can either go play golf every day or we can get down into the trenches with the poor and needy and make the world a better place as a result of that effort. And for the past 11 years, that's exactly what Doug Clements, the president of Wings of Hope, has been doing. We treat the fellow man the way that we would like to be treated. The good old-fashioned golden rule is all that it is. Clements makes sure that happens by personally traveling to many of the bases throughout the year. We go and ask people what it is that they would like to accomplish. What, what are their dreams that they would like to dream? And then what can we do to help them realize those dreams? Wings of Hope, this is Anne. Can I help you? Ann Vollen is the organization's administrative manager and helps to oversee it all. It's very humbling to work in a place that has so many wonderful volunteers that give their time to make this happen because without them we, we really couldn't do it. Wings of Hope was founded in 1962 by four businessmen who were pilots as hobbyists. They had a very basic policy. It would run on donations and volunteer workers only. So these four founders had a policy that we're going to work from the bottom up. We're going to take that whole dollar and we're going to go to that starving person, that dying person who needs health care, that person who needs education and opportunities, and we're going to start right there at that level and work our way up. To this day, that philosophy remains in place, making it one of the few charities in the United States to receive the highest four-star rating. Every dollar we spend, 90 cents of it goes to program services. Wings of Hope may have started with one small plane and a very narrow purpose, but today the humanitarian charity's mission is so much more. One of the most significant changes has been the addition of the St. Louis Medical Relief and Air Transport Program, also known as MAT. What we do is we transport mostly children, but really anybody of any, of any age that needs assistance. Um, we transport them at no charge as many times as they need it. People need access to this great American health care system and they don't have access to it. And so Wings of Hope started offering the medical relief and their transport service to solve those problems. On a yearly basis we make around 800 flights. The organization has both small and large air ambulances, all equipped with stretchers and certified airborne medical crews. Chief Pilot Dick Horowitz heads up the MAP program. And this is really an opportunity to give back aviation-wise and to uh, help out my fellow men. For many, the help that Wings of Hope provides can mean the difference between life and death. Underneath two six left, cleared land winds three zero zero at one one. That's true for ten year old Alicia Reed, who suffers from a rare blood disease. They told her family that she was only expected to live until she was five, and she's ten now. Alicia and her grandmother have flown with Wings of Hope over eighty times. We met the two during a routine layover in St. Louis. We got to go this time now because her liver numbers are way elevated, so we probably going to biopsy it and pray to God that it's okay. Michelle Colgan believes without Wings of Hope, Alicia would not be alive today. She's survived so far. A lot of kids don't even make it as far as she has. It's, it's life-changing and a lot of people can't afford it. I mean, the average cost of an air ambulance service is anywhere between fifteen dollars and $40,000. Even people that do have money can't afford that kind of money that quickly. So we help everyone. When you're going through what we're going through, to take one worry off your mind is like a huge difference. It's huge. It's, we couldn't do it without them. You've got to have your A-game on to, to be at Wings of Hope. The volunteers that we really need are those that don't mind rolling up their sleeves and doing whatever it takes to move the ball downfield. Retired commercial airline A&P worker Paul Burtis understands that dedication. It is hard not to get involved in the stories of the patients that we fly. We get to see them and uh, uh, it kind of makes it worthwhile. 
you kind of uh, do your work and hold back the tears. I can't tell you how many kids who have gone someplace for treatment and we're taking them on their last ride. For as long as Alicia needs them, Wings of Hope will be there for her and for others like her. Blanket and the pillow are coming. It makes you realize why you come to work every day. To see the gratitude that people have is, is very moving. Dedication appears to be the link that all those connected with Wings of Hope have in common. You're dedicated to making the world a better place tomorrow because you do something today. To see that makes you realize that there is hope for the world, that the world can be a better place. If all of us make the effort, it will get there.